So welcome back to Otaku no Cooking, where tonight we're making rice burgers. Kind of an odd thing, but uh, they're basically just rice formed into patties and cooked that way. So I've got some rice already cooked up, uh, it's already steamed, and uh, so basically we're going to prep them over here. So let me just show you the counter as usual. I'll grab the rice. So here's our rice, and we're going to basically, oh, I don't need to plug that in anymore. Um, we're going to sort of make, uh, make baggies out of, uh, of these, to squish them up. Uh, let's see here. And so they suggest grabbing a quarter of a cup of cooked rice into these plastic baggies. Now... I'm not very good at judging these things. So I'm going to grab, there we go. I'm just going to grab some rice and put it in a quarter of a cup. That's about right. And I'm going to measure it. So here's a scale. And I'm going to put that on here. All right, that's about 42 grams of rice. Um, all right, so we're going to use that as kind of our basis. And we're going to mold that into shape of like a hamburger bun. Now, one thing I've learned doing this in the past is that with some things, you don't really want to smoosh the rice. But I found with this, it really helps to really get this nice and, and uh, firmed up like a hamburger patty. You don't want this loose. If it's loose, it'll fall apart in the pan. Okay. So we're just gonna keep on doing this. So we have these very small patties. Um, yeah. And I, I wanna use the, uh, this scoop because it gives us that's 46. 47. Um, it won't scratch up the rice cooker. That's kind of the secret there. All right, so let me use this. And so by using the, the plastic, you can kind of squeeze this into a round shape by just literally squeezing it into a round shape. Very convenient. All right, we'll keep that there. Um, yeah, we'll just keep on doing this. And I'm assuming one of the advantages is that by having them in the plastic wrap, that's a bit, let's, let's pull back some of the rice. Okay. I'm going for between 40 and 45 grams for the rice patties. And again, you could just use the quarter cup, but that's not gonna be quite as precise as this. So we've got these very small patties. And then we're gonna be heating up some butter in the pan, and then basically just throwing these in there. They say you can add teriyaki sauce if you want, but I found when I tried doing that, I kind of burned on the pan. So I don't know what the secret is to there, but what do you do? What, what are you gonna do, right? Okay. How much we got there? 44, okay. So I'm just sort of squeezing this together and then squeezing that into a disc. So there we have our little disc of rice. Very simple. And I expect to have about eight of these because I cooked roughly two cups of rice. Here's number 44. <laughs> I seem to be doing 44 a lot this time. 
Don't know what that signifies. I'll have to consult the stars. See what's going on there. There's five. I think we'll get a total of seven here. I have that very clingy cling wrap. Ooh, that's a bit too much. 50, 53. 45. Let's cut that down a bit more. 43. Okay. Ah, come on. Getting rice everywhere. This is sushi rice, so it's very sticky. Much more sticky than your typical, um, you know, the typical rice that we have over here. Um, and it's one of the reasons why I'm using it for this recipe, because it will stick together like a hamburger patty, whereas the rice you get, um, you know, from a regular, uh, regular bag of rice over here, it's called long grain rice, will not be that. Okay. So we'll get this over here. That's 41. All right. Yeah. So this will be our last one, I think, over there. And in fact, let me go ahead, uh, grab some butter. They say how much butter? Um, tablespoon, okay. So I'm just gonna put, they say, medium heat. All right, so I'm just gonna turn on the, uh, the heat over here and add some butter. tablespoon or so. Just to get that started. And we'll come back to that in a minute. In fact, I'm going to keep the butter out because I'll probably need more. All right. And we'll see how this plastic wrap works for this. I don't know. So how much do we have here? 32. Okay. 37. Yeah, there we go. 50, All right, so that's kind of a big one. We'll see how that works. All right, and again, I'm just squeezing that, using that plastic to squeeze that. You notice there's, there's some, uh, some brown spots here. That's just because some of the rice got in a particularly hot spot on the, uh, on the rice cooker. And it's just basically toasting the rice. It doesn't, doesn't harm it, doesn't hurt it. It just changes the flavor a little bit. It's basically caramelizing the rice. Um, so don't worry. It's, that's not a, a problem. Um, it just changes, you know, it's, it's not as pretty, but that's fine. All right, so there's still a little bit of rice here, which, of course, I'm not going to waste. Okay. So now, a little transition over. You see how this butter is starting to melt? This is over medium heat, so about 50%. And then we'll grab our things here. And let's grab a plate for these. So when we're done, this is getting, well, that's fine. I think we'll put these right here. And so as they're done, we'll transition them over to one side. I'm just waiting for that to melt. Be another few more moments. That is why, by the way, right there, I wanted to get that going. And all I did again is turn on the oven, and, or turn on the, the stove top and add the butter. One thing while we're at it is we can do a little bit of cleanup. Just get some stuff. Prepped, move some things around, take care of some, some stuff. I always like to, uh, if I have a few moments, put something away. You know, put a dirty dish in the dishwasher or the sink. Just make less work for yourself later. All right, so that butter is mostly melted. Cool, and I want that covering the bottom of the pan. Pretty much. Okay. And then we're going to... Okay. Let's do it.
You want to make sure it's nice and flat. Put that on there. I'm not hearing a sizzle. Hmm. I'm a little worried. Do another one. That's sizzling a little bit. Let me grab a spatula. These are really handy. Let me move the camera up a little bit. There we are. So we've just got our... Yeah, see, now we're starting to hear some sounds. That's good. Make sure it's nice and flat. Interesting. So when I tried this before, I made much larger patties. Patties that were like the size of a hamburger patty. And they did not cook very well. And I think the reason is the size exactly. Um, I think the rice is not going to hold together quite as well on a large patty. Mmm. Compared to a smaller one. And there are two that will not fit here, so I'll reserve those for later. Not necessarily a bad thing because now we can experiment a bit. And we can try some stuff and see, how, see what happens. Perhaps you add teriyaki sauce to the rice before you form it into a patty? I don't know. Also feel that we should use a little more butter. But then, I always like the idea of more butter. I'm always a fan of more butter. I don't know about you. All right, you can start to hear some popping and some sizzling. That's good. Um, so, cook until firm, but not toasted. These are already pretty firm. Let me just flip up the first, flip over the first one. We're starting to see a slight discoloration on the bottom. Good to know. But it's definitely not, it's a little firmer, but not noticeably so. So I'm gonna give it a little bit longer on the, on the rest. It does not tell me here um, how long to expect to cook these, which is fine. We've got to go by... That is fairly firm, actually. Got to go by look and by feel. Yeah, that's firming up. It's also quite hot. I'm going to flip those. By the way, you will come across folks who, especially for burgers, tell you, oh, never flip the burger, or maybe only flip it once. Um, that is good advice in general, but when you're first starting out, it's not a horrible thing to flip a burger a couple of times just to make sure you're not burning it on one side. Um, you know, they're kind of giving you experienced chef advice as opposed to starting out on your first time advice. Ah, it's starting to smell a little nutty, uh, which is good. That's the that's the butter essentially caramelizing, kind of like caramelizing, on the bottom of these uh, these these burgers. So I'm gonna flip that again. All right, it's looking about the same. That was kind of undercooked before, so we'll leave it. I'm gonna try to keep, keep these uh, flat, and I also I'm moving them slightly just so they don't stick to the bottom. Doesn't seem like it'll be a problem, but. That's fine. I am seeing though here actually that was a good amount of butter because it, it, it seems to me because we're not getting a, a sea of butter in here. It's not a lake of fat, um, but I am seeing quite a bit of, of butter underneath them. Like it, it's definitely there as a good coating. All right, let me flip flip the center one. Center one often cooks faster because it is the one. Yeah, a little longer. It's the one closest to the heat source, right? The flame is right down there. Probably gets cooked a little faster. Let me flip 
this one here. Yep, that's okay. It's getting starting to get browned, so we know we're getting pretty close. Let me flip this one. In fact, I think yeah, that's firm. I'm gonna take that off. You don't want to move them around a lot because every time you do that, you are decreasing the amount of heat that is um, on them. So if you move them around the pan constantly, then you've got different you know, different parts of the pan are different heats uh, and different temperatures, different heats. So you don't want to do that too much because then you're not cooking it uh, evenly. If they're in the same spot, they'll cook the same way. Put that. Okay, yeah, that's definitely. That's almost brown. Same thing there. Same thing there. I think that's that should go. Let's flip that guy. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm cooking these until they're 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 starting to brown. Um, yeah, not toasted. That makes sense. Right. Yeah, starting to smell toasty. So let me get these off. There's a case where toasty is not what we're looking for. Okay, and then we'll put these, we need a little more butter, that's why I reserved it. I'm gonna add a little more butter to the pan. Maybe a little more than that. Ah, yeah, seems about right. And then we'll add our final two. that cook. Oh gosh. I look well portly. Uh, all right, so yeah, so we're gonna cook that up and just let those those cook. So we're gonna, and we're gonna let that uh, uh, sit for a moment. Unfortunately, there's, there's a little greasy there, a little, little fatty. I should probably put those on something, let them drain. Um, but I'm, I'm okay with that. So what folks will often do is then put something between these two like, where do they have these examples? Um, let's see here. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, beef patties, cheese, sausage, fried chicken, fish. So you, you use them kind of like uh, burger buns, actually, and just sandwich toppings between them. Obviously, you want to wait till they're a little, uh, <laughs> not quite this, uh, oh, there we are. You want to wait until they're not quite this uh, hot. Let them cool somewhat. Add teriyaki sauce. Maybe you add teriyaki sauce at this point, but now they're cooked. Now they're kind of sealed with that that the butter uh, thing. So I don't know. I don't get that. By the way, the sauce is now hotter. I'm sorry. The pan is now hotter because it's had time to heat up, and there are fewer things in the pan now. So these are cooking much faster. That's why we're getting this browning on there, you know, in less than half the time we were before. So I'm just going to put this one more time. Okay, yeah, no, we're, we're okay. So that's why you got to be careful, because physics and chemistry. <laughs> things do change over time in the, in the kitchen with the things that you have. They're still quite hot. I was gonna bite into one of them, but not quite a moment. Check that. Ooh, that's about ready. Yeah, that's pretty firm. Whoa. That's pretty firm too. Okay. Yeah. There we are. Let's turn off the oven. Turn off the range top. And there you see our rice burgers.
So these are a little more browned because of how the process worked there. There was more stuff in the pan uh, at the end of there, so I picked up some, some discoloration. Uh, but they all look like they're pretty, uh, pretty similar in terms of all that process ready to be eaten and toppings added and su su such and so forth. So those are rice burgers, easy enough. Hope you will try them next time. Again, make sure you're using Japanese short grain rice as opposed to long grain rice. Uh, otherwise, it won't stick together very well. And then a little butter in a pan, fry them up.